Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. Finally, this is our last tutorial of this complete building. We already finished all our building, we already finished all the elements what we can do in tutorial as beginner. So now you are, we can say, you already grow up and you can go to the intermediate level of the beam. Today we will finalize our work, we will just create the schedules, we will create some other uh, view sheets and that's it. So you can say this is model completely done by yourself. Okay, if you are ready to this last tutorial, don't forget about the likes, share and comment this video and let's get started. So, if you don't know where you can get the model, but you didn't finish it yet, you can easily download it by the link below this video. Just go the, on the description and there you will find the complete building, what you can see right now on your screen. For those who already have this building or already did it, we continue with this your model. Okay, I said we will continue with our... Uh, uh, so with our drawing sheets and let's create a new one. Just right click, new sheet and let's let's use the same metric. Uh, generic mo uh, metric um, title block, it will be pretty fine. This is view will be for the 3D. As you can see when you're creating the new, win new uh, your sheet, uh, it's going under the uh, nothing, so Revit not understand what is that. As you can see, his design project. And here we will say it will be also design project. Okay, and as you can see, once you will change it, it's going to the down here. Okay, and the name we will leave as it is, because the naming it's not for important for us, but this naming we will change. As you can see, he is unnamed. Why it's unnamed? Because it's really unnamed. Let's give the name for this building. As you can see, here is the uh, sheet's name, and let's say 3D view. 3D view, and let's say this is one. Okay, once you will change it, it will change the name. Why it will be 3D view? Because I wanna create the 3D view, why not? Uh, but we don't have any properly 3D view. As you can see, we have here the 3D view, just one, ju without nothing, and 3D view copy one. Let's open the copy one, and here we have like, uh, section with the second floor. Let me I will create a section with the level one. This is pretty nice. Uh, I will extend it a bit downside downsize, and you will see here is the my 3D view. Let's rename this 3D view. Just right click and say 3D view floor one. By this way, we understand this is 3D view floor one. And let me, I will create copy of this view, duplicate it, duplicate with detailing, and let's rename it directly. And now it will be 3D view floor two. Just change the name, and as you can see, 3D view floor two. But uh, we should now change to show this is really floor two. Okay, like that. And now we will just hide this section box. Right click, select it, right click, and hide the view element. Go to the floor one, select it, right click, uh, hide element, done. Now let's back to the our drawing sheet. Here is it, as you can see. Let's open up, and now let's drag and drop our 3D view. But before we will do that, as you can see, this is under the nothing, so we don't understand what's that. We should change it to the design view. As you know, we should change view owner. Let me I will change it, design view. And as you can see now our 3D not uh, under the nothing. It's already design view and let's change the second one. And let's now uh, move it from the design view to the, our drawing sheet. Let's move it one and let's move it the second floor. Actually, we should do the other way. Here will be floor one and here will be floor two like this. Uh, you can just double click and change the orientation because uh, as you can see it's a bit now differently for example like that. If you want to get more uh, straight result you should use the camera view but this is not for today's tutorial. If you if you want to create it and pretty same just uh, check the other my video about the cameras or you can find it around the internet. 
and you will see how to do that. Uh, but for those who don't know, no worries about that, you can do approximately, it's also not bad. And as you can see, we get the result. Let me, I will select this line and I wanna, for example, if you wanna create it, if you wanna change it, I mean the way it's placed, it, just select it and change where you wanna place it. As you can see, we created 3D view, this is pretty awesome, and now you can see we created the ground floor plan and we created 3D view. So all the drawing sheets you create can create by your own. And now we are switching to the schedules and we will create some small schedules and this is will be the last thing on this tutorial. For example, let's first calculate how many doors we have and which type we have. Uh, for that one, we, maybe we will place it here, uh, near with the our floor number one, and uh, that's why let's find the door on the on the first level. Uh, we going to the schedule, right click, new schedule quantities, because we want to calculate how many doors we have, so this is quantities. Let's use it, and let's find here is the door, here is the door. Uh, face the new construction, because all our building is new construction, we don't have any demolish and... Uh, existing one so and i will leave the schedule new construction we will leave the name door schedule this is pretty fine and maybe we'll write the ground floor it just for us ground floor let's say enter and what we get what we want get from uh, this door first we want to count how many doors we have after that we want to know the family of what the type of the family of this door and we want to get the type of this family with let's find his the type first will be family after that type and after that count and as you can see we have here also the level let's do use the level for now we will say okay and we not will do any changes let's see what we get uh, here is the family name door, door curtain uh, single glass here is the type of the door as you can see uh, and here's the level and count of the doors. Okay, uh, before we will continue, let's see what that. Well, let's see what we have here. We have here the door curtain wall, and we have the here the single flush door. Actually, I said we wanna get only the doors on the first level, but we have the different type of doors like curtain doors and uh, just the flush doors. Uh, the thing, uh, as you can see, the type naming is different. That's why I'm saying to you, you should use uh, the, some standards to naming. Uh, because we named our doors differently, we have now different result. As you can see here, we're just writing the name of the door, and here we're just writing the uh, size of the door. That's why you need have the standard you uh, so what this means you will write by this type or you will mm, write the name by this type this is only up to you we will leave it as it is it's no matter for us first i wanna uh, just uh, leave from here the level two because we don't wanna get the doors from the level two how we can do that let's go to, let's go to the filter let's edit and let's filter by level level should equal to the level one so equal to the level one let's say okay and now we can see only the level two. Oh, i mean the only level one the second thing as you can see we have the same type of the door and the quantity is one why because now if you will go to the sorting grouping edit you will see we have itemize every instance so it means each of your door will be instance. We don't want to do that. We want to stack everything. Let's uh, uncheck this button and let's say OK. And now we, we have the uh, count number, but we don't have the type and the family. The reason why? Because we didn't group our family. So we should group it. Let's go inside to the sorting and group. And let's sort first by the family. We will sort by the family and let's say OK. As you can see, we sort by family and we get some result. Uh, as you can see, the, we have here the name, family name, here's type name, level, and how many type of this door we have. But some of them, we have still problem. As you can see, it's stacking and saying four. So now we need uh, going back to the sorting and group. And after we uh, sorting by family, we should sorting by type. Let's say OK. And now we on the right way. 
as you can see this family type the same but uh, I mean the family is same but type is different in here we have the other situation it's family same and type same but in this situation it's different that's why we were stacking and get here the four without the name uh, of the family and type but right now we're sorting by family and type and we don't see any problem except one thing we want to calculate the total and as you can see we cannot calculate actually we don't have any number here but if you will click here grant total let's grant total it and we wanna let's use the total only and let's say okay you will see nothing why because you should change something in formatting let's go to the formatting let's select the count and here as you can see no calculation let's un uh, let's show it and let's calculate the total Calculate total, say OK. And now you can see total, total number of our door schedule ground floor. And that's it. As you can see, just a few clicks and you get all real number of your doors on the floor one. Now, if you will go to the ground floor plan, you can easily just drag and drop your new schedule. Here is our new schedule, what we did. Just drag and drop it on your screen and place it whenever you want. For example, here. And as you can see, we get really nice thing we already count everything and it looks pretty okay you can still going back to the door schedule you can select all of these things and for example you wanna place it on the middle because now all the numbers it's actually not not on the middle you can place it i mean it's going now to the left it's not useful for actually for me it's really not useful maybe for you it's, it, maybe for you it's, it is to change it, you just should click on the, your column here on the under the count, and as you can see, align horizontal. As you can see, it's left align. Let's use the center one. I said center one. Ah, oh, okay. And yes, I did mistake. Uh, if you will center here, you will center only the count. But actually, we can change it. Just go to the formatting. Here the count, and as you can see, alignment left. Let's change it to the center one. Let's say OK, and now it's under the center. Let's do the same thing with the level, because I want to see on the center it. Uh, with the type and family, we don't need, because this is a naming, we will leave as it is. And as you can see, now it's pretty nice. Uh, we get results, some results, and you can just now print it if you want. OK, and as you can see, we spent around 11 tutorials how you can start your uh, building and how you can get result. And as you can see, it's really not so hard. 11 tutorials and you already can create your first building. And this is building, it's not bad for you for entry level. You can show, the, for example, this building to some beam managers or to some the architecture and no one will say you did so bad something. No. They will understand your logic, they will see your standard, what you used, you're not doing the random naming, you're not doing the ra uh, random the families and the types. So this is pretty cool for you. Follow this, um, follow this line and you will be really nice beam architecture. Doesn't matter which program you will use, Archicad or Revit, maybe you will use the old plan after that, but if you will use the some standards, you will be really nice beam architecture. For this uh, complete building tutorial, we already finished. Thank you guys for your watching. Don't forget to share this video because I understand this is well as pretty long way to get this result if you want to get this final building with final result so as i said go under the uh, description there you will find the link thank you and see you in the next tutorials